this car, this is a mess. This thing is really, this is probably, this is the worst car we've ever had on. Why, why is this here? You speak with the Mullins, they'll tell you this car is too valuable to restore. But really the point behind this car, 1925 Bugatti Brescia, is to say, can you continue to appreciate a car once it has been stripped from its ability to provide meaningful transportation? So clearly what you're looking at here is more an object of art than it is an automobile. But it's referential enough to its past that you can see the basic structure of an automobile. You can see where the, you know, how the frame uh, exists and how the you know, major components of the car fit together. So it's wonderful as a museum exhibit, incidentally, because it acts as a teaching tool for us. And also, it asks people to look at uh, a car as fine art, to look again at surface and to uh, appreciate it just as a static object. How, how did this come to be in this condition? Well, it was under the waters of Lago Maggiore for over 75 years. Uh -huh. So, you know, we're, we're very proud of that here at the museum, incidentally, because uh, today, of course, you hear everybody talking about barn find cars, but who else has a lake find car? Or a barnacle find or car. Or a bar barnacle find car, uh -huh, right. yeah. It's true. So lots of fish have swam through this over the years. You have to imagine. And yet it's a car that has tremendous history. This is a car that was known to have been owned by the famous French world champion race driver Rene Dreyfus. It was lost in a poker game to a Swiss by the name of Edelbert Baudet. He drove it back to his native Switzerland and uh, purportedly was evading uh, the tax man by taking this car and attaching chains to it and pushing it into Lago Maggiore. Uh, I guess the, uh, the flaw in the plan was he used a rusty chain uh -huh. because the car fell to, uh, I guess, 175 feet and it remained there for, as I say, 75 years. But the Mullen Automotive Museum, of course, is proud to have it. And you'd be amazed. This is one of the most popular attractions here at the museum. You, you, know, you see all these multiple million dollar uh, priceless uh, automobiles here. And it's really this car that seems to speak to them.